What's up everyone? Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com. Oh Lord. Gluten intolerance, man. I gotta be real here, man. Even my sister-in-law is avoiding gluten. And she knew gluten intolerant. I mean, here's the thing. You know, I'm looking at this and celiac disease is a real issue. If you have celiac disease, you don't think you have celiac disease. You're really, really, really fucking sick if you have celiac disease. I mean, you're in a world of hurt. Your stomach's hurting, you have no appetite, you have weight loss. Okay, so if you're fat, chances are you don't have celiac disease. You have trouble eating. And let me go into this. I'm actually gonna reference Alan Aragon. He has a piece on the paleo diet where he goes in to glutton intolerance. Check it out. Celiac disease is a gluten-dependent autoimmune disorder of the small intestine and affects about 0.3 to 1.2% of the population. That's it. Not more, not less, okay? Now, gluten intolerance is also called non-celiac gluten sensitivity, um, and there's no diagnostic criteria. So you can think you have it, or you can get diagnosed by one of them fucking hippie doctor professors that fucking sits on Venice Beach or something, but at the end of the day, it's all fucking bullshit, okay? Um... And they hypothesize that it's up to 10% of the general population. Now, what is gluten containing? Grains. Barley, rye, trout to kelly, and uh, wheat, including bulgur, durum, farro, kemet, semolina, and spelt. Now, gluten free amaranth, buckwheat, corn, millet, oats, quinoa, rice. I mean, those are all gluten free. Now, here's the deal um, gluten grains, they're healthy, okay? Um, they've been shown to help lower cholesterol. They've been shown to do a lot of functional things. And to avoid it, here's the thing. The low-carb diet worked because there's three macronutrients, okay? I want you fucking people who fall for every diet fad to listen to me. Here's why you should listen to me because I'm not fucking smart enough to come up with funny shit like this. My diet is all about fucking standard hard work, cutting calories correctly. Yeah, there's some voodoo in there, but I'm not smart enough to think, hey, I'm going to sell a bunch of books and rip a bunch of fucking people off by saying that they fucking have celiac disease when it's only affecting 0.3% of the fucking population. Okay, here's the deal. Carbohydrate, fat, and protein are your three possible macronutrients, right? Um, you know, calories per gram containing macro, not, not counting alcohol and all that shit. We're going to assume that doesn't exist. So if you were to take one third of that out of your diet, you're going to fucking lose weight because your calories are going to naturally go down. How many fucking pork rinds can someone eat? So that's why the low carb diet causes fat loss. The reason this is fucking stupid is it's not a lifestyle one can work. Now, I was just talking to my wife about this the other night. You know, the funny thing is the one lifestyle diet, the one diet that cuts something out that people stick with, the only reason they do it is because of, uh, well, sometimes it's lifestyle, but a lot of times it's more ethical reasons. That's vegetarians. Vegetarians, more respect to you for sticking to it. But the gluten-free diet is not long-term. Eating those fucking 20-pound loaves of fucking bread made out of rice or whatever the fuck these gluten people eat. It's just not going to work. Now, I know I'm going to a bunch of comments below. Oh, well, gluten was causing my penis to get all fucking chafed up and all this and all that. And I'm like, oh, I don't fucking care. Okay, if you don't want to eat gluten, that's fine. But nothing makes me more mad than with someone who digests wheat and everything. Oh, well, it was making my tummy feel a bit weird. What the fuck does that even mean, man? My tummy feels weird once in a while. It happens, you know, and it's not going to be most likely grains causing it. There's so many reasons to avoid different foods. I, gluten, is, gluten is not a bad thing, okay? Grains are a good thing. And what I'm saying is these diets that vilify one nutrient or one macronutrient or one micronutrient or one source of nutrients... Those are not something that you can live the rest of your life working with. So all you people who are listening to douchebags out there saying that gluten is bad and this and that, and listen to these paleo people, oh, if you eat gluten, you're going to no, 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 no. Uh, the paleo diet, I'm, again, I'm, I'm fine with the paleo diet. I'm fine with the gluten-free diet. I'm fine with it. 
If you don't want to eat gluten and you get all your macronutrients and micronutrients and you get that shit in and you're eating fruits, vegetables and all that, I'm good. I couldn't be happier. But to sit there and give me a fucking bullshit reason why uh, other people and why it's a good diet, just say, hey, I'm going to cut my calories by not eating fucking bread. Don't say, oh, I got celiac disease. You wouldn't be fucking sitting here talking. If you ate a piece of wheat, your fucking stomach would blow up and you'd shit all over the place. All right? That's my thought on gluten-free diets. This was sent to me. Who the fuck emailed me this, man? Uh, man, I'm not even giving the man props. Uh, Mike Renkrika. All right? And uh, he actually gave me a closing. Are you ready? Uh, this isn't me, so don't get mad if it's too loot. Because eating gluten out of your best friend's mom's snatch, that's not a game. Ooh.